What's up guys, today's video is going to be a tutorial for the Material Works add-on for Blender. It is finally open for the pre-order period. It's gonna be released on July 21st. The amount of people that have been basically spamming us asking when it's coming out. Here's your answer, July 21st, Friday, it is going to be out. Right now we have the 40% pre-order period open. Go to the link in the description, pick it up. The price is already super cheap as it is. I don't wanna hear any complaining. It's $57. Go Get it right now so basically the whole point of this add-on guys was to streamline the texturing process the issue let me show you the issue with blender's native material system not that it's broken it actually is very good um, the issue with it is you can only customize the basic settings you know you can change the base color you can change the metallic values you can change the uh, you know roughness and you can do all this cool stuff and it's pretty straightforward, right? The main ones we use are the base color, right? The roughness and the metallic. Now, if you want to get an actual texture on it, let's say you wanted like a camo or you wanted those lines that you see on like an aluminum material. Basically, your two options would be to download textures off the internet and then, whoops, that was the wrong tab. And then basically plug these in on your own inside the node editor. So, you know, you'd open the... Uh, node Wrangler, you would add in your image texture, and you'd plug everything up after downloading the textures. Good luck finding decent textures for free on the internet. It's just, you're, you're not going to find them. Plus, it takes a hell of a long time to go find them all, to download them, to plug them in. It's annoying. And if you're a node wizard, you can create your own custom node groups with like, you know, 20 fucking nodes going everywhere. It's annoying. Um, and we don't want to do that. If you're like me, you just want to work and get on with your creativity. So that's precisely why we developed this add-on. It's just to give you what you need and no more. So let's go ahead and show you uh, how it works. So essentially, once you install the Material Works add-on, you're going to be given a library of custom materials. Now, each one of these materials in here were specifically hand chosen. I was literally for like several months, Ryu and I were like at the gym or just driving around or we're like in the car we're like, oh, that material looks cool. That texture looks cool. I was literally taking snapshots on my phone and sending them to our materials designer. And we ended up finding 50 of the most common materials that you're going to be using for hard surface modeling. So metals, plastics, rubbers, things like that. Uh, my personal favorite one is this hard foam. Uh, I just haven't been able to find a good foam material out there, and we actually made one here. So basically, you just select it, you choose it, and you have your material added to it. Now, what you could do here is, well, if you zoom in, you're going to see it's kind of low resolution. We have 4K and 1K maps, but if you want to make this even cleaner, all you'd really do is, you know, drop the scale a bit and it's just gonna get you know smaller and smaller and look better and better. Now I would not recommend using the bevel modifier because we actually have a bevel node right here. You click that and it's actually gonna add in a bevel shader for you by default. So you can go in here, you don't have to plug in anything in the node editor. The whole goal with this was to make sure you didn't have to touch the node editor at all. So ideally all the settings in here you won't have to play with a node editor and you probably don't want to because the node groups are complex to say the least. So basically you can go in here, you can adjust the size of the um, you know, bevel shader here, just use the default, very cool stuff. We also have camo steel and there's just a lot of cool materials in here. There's another cool one we made called LC Aluminum, inspired by my favorite car, the Lexus LC 500. Uh, this is a really, really clean aluminum material. You can kind of see those nice textures on it. This is just really clean stuff that you can use on your models uh, pretty much right now. So obviously I'll let you go through all these on your own. There's basically everything you need, carbon fiber, just the stuff you can't really find anywhere else. And uh, if you go to the landing page in the description, you'll see some actual renders with these materials and not just the default cube. Now what I need to show you next is very important because this is a game changer. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a sphere. I'll just subdivide this a few times. Now, most of you know, if you have a texture, usually you'd add the material, you'd plug in the texture, and then to see the texture, you'd have to unwrap it. 
What's the issue with unwrapping, guys? Think about it for a second. You have seams. You have to place seams somewhere. And let me show you what I mean. Right now, I'm in the UV projection mode, meaning this texture will be projected based on UV coordinates. So I could go in here and I could just run a smart UV project. And you're gonna see right in here, there's our projection. So right now the mode is set to UV projection. The issue with this, guys, is the seams. Even if I try to hide the seam by putting it like on the bottom or whatever, right? Even if I try to hide the seam, you're still gonna see a seam. It's just still gonna be there. There's not too much you can do about it. That's just the name of the game. Check this out. We're gonna swap from UV projection over to procedural projection. We're just gonna click on that. Uh, the scale is gonna just reset that to one. You can also press backspace to reset the setting to default. Now guys, I'm gonna change this blend setting to zero and you're gonna see those seams actually come back. See that? Now check this out. If we put this blend setting above zero, it blends the seam away. It disappears completely. This was a huge game changer for us and it was a requirement basically when we were developing this add-on because the last thing anyone wants to deal with are seams if they're only going for concept art and renders. Now if you are working on game assets or texturing outside of Blender and you have to use UVs, obviously you just switch to UVs and you, you're going to have to deal with the seams anyways, right? But if you're not doing that, use the procedural projection. The seams are going to be non-existent. They're going to be gone. I'll even show you on a different material. Let's do the camo for example. And let's go to procedural and set this to zero. Again, there's that really nasty seam right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just blend it. Boom, it's gone, like it's completely gone as a matter of fact. So pretty crazy stuff guys. This is probably my favorite part of the add-on. So when you're just working, slap on the procedural setting, you're done. Now everything else in here is pretty straightforward. You can change things like the base color. So we could drag this to one you know, play with the color, things like that. Uh, I haven't really messed. I just leave the base color on the default set to zero because we already have the pre-made colors built into the materials. You can also play with the roughness if you want to make it more reflective, metallic. It's basically the sliders you have in here, guys. Um, so you don't really even need to touch the material editor here. Uh, you also have normal. So if you want to kind of remove how bumpy it is, you can change the normal and you're going to see it's actually not uh, so bumpy anymore, but I'd recommend leaving that set to one and we also have some of the additional settings like clear coat If you want to add a layer of clear coat, you have all those settings here Now you're also going to notice we have this alpha slider here now on some materials. It doesn't do anything It's just a regular Alpha slider basically, but some of these materials you can actually customize we're gonna go in here I'm gonna choose this dotted steel net and for this particular material, the blend wouldn't actually work super well. As you can see, the blend just, you know, for certain materials, it won't work. So this is a situation where you would actually want to use the UV projection and um, just do it that way. Now I'm actually going to add in, let's make a cable. That could be cool. Let's just add in two cubes here. And I'm going to run Cable Rater just to speed up the process. There we go. And let's just go ahead and add this material here. It's going to be very cool. So what I'm going to do is just add a seam here in the back, convert this to a mesh, add a seam here in the back, and then unwrap it. There we go. Maybe make the scale a bit smaller. Now check this out. We have this alpha slider, and if we drag that down to zero, it actually kind of makes this cool webbing effect almost. You can kind of see there's no holes, and now we have a hole. So basically, instead of you know making a cable where you would have to usually go in here and basically convert all of these to, quite literally convert all these to circles, right? And then extrude them back and then deal with the crazy shading problems you're gonna run into. Why bother doing that when you can just use this texture, right? You go in here and it looks exactly the same. So this is a very cool slider. You have the alpha slider. You also have a mission. So if we go down here, there's actually an emission options. So we could kind of go in, put the strength to say like five, put that alpha down to zero, and you can kind of get this cool 
a mission effect just kind of depends what you're going for right but look at how cool that is guys probably a bit excessive but you get the idea i'm not a big fan of emissive materials i just don't tend to use them in my work it's not my style but you do have that option there if you want to use it so super cool and you can also you know rotate these if you want using the rotate slider here very cool stuff obviously the scale you can play with that and it's just um just these textures guys are just absolutely insane and the last thing I want to mention, uh, let me go ahead and just add in a new scene here. Let's add in one more sphere. What I want to show you real quick, if we go in, is we're going to have two different uh, quality material or resolution here. We're going to have 4K and 1K. Now, if you have a slower computer or a limited on memory, you can go with 1K. And basically, um, you know, you can just adjust the scale and it's still going to look super high resolution. Likewise, if you have a powerful machine like I do and you just don't care about the performance hit, you could use 4K and um, you're just going to have a lot more finer detail and things like that. But for a lot of you, you know, um, feel free to just use 1K. You don't need to use 4K. Honestly, it's probably a bit excessive unless you have a really powerful machine. And you can just kind of play with the scale here and basically get the same uh, types of results. So that's basically a rundown of the material works add on. It's a very straightforward tool, nothing complicated about it. The whole point was for you guys to be able to use it basically right out of the box, right? I didn't want to make this super complicated for anyone. And again, my absolute favorite part about this entire tool is this blend setting. It's just wild. You know, you have the seam. If I can find the seam right here and then you have the blend setting my absolute favorite part about the whole thing you don't really have to deal with seams anymore so guys it's open for pre-order right now it is 40 percent off the base price is about 100 bucks you can get it right now for 57 we also have a studio license so if you want to share it with your friends and get a bit of a discount there uh, the studio license includes up to five users so you can pick the studio license up on a discount as well we're also going to be throwing in five free studio hdris we actually got these from alex central he gave us permission to distribute it with the pack so if you order right now during the pre-order period you're going to get five of those studio hdris for free you'll have lighting basically like i do in my scene right here very very clean realistic lighting so you'll get 40 percent off and also access to five studio hdris for your renders so can't make the deal any more fair. It's very affordable. I don't want to hear any complaining. Go get it right now. Link in the description. And it's going to be released on July 21st. Super excited for this, guys. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.